Hello boys and girls and welcome to the Halo Foundry. Today we've got a very serious question that we need answering. How many Master Chiefs does it take to change a light bulb? Well, apparently to Mega Constructs the answer is just to keep throwing them and to see what sticks. Yes, today we're going to be looking at all of the Halo Infinite Mega Constructs Master Chiefs released so far. For this video I'm not going to be reviewing any of the additional items in these sets and we'll just be focusing on Master Chief and the weapon that he comes with. Because it has been a bit of a joke in the community that we're getting way too many Chiefs. But are there really too many or are there not enough? Which one is the best Chief? Was it necessary to get them all? Well, join me now and let's find out. I'm not going to be listing these in any particular order, but I will be letting you know my favourites once we get to them. First up, we have the Behemoth, which is the Metal Creations Master Chief Collection 2020 Comic Con exclusive. As collections go, this is one amazing set, and if you manage to get your hands on it, I think you'd absolutely agree with me. This set includes a Master Chief from every main entry in the franchise, from CE all the way up to Infinite. Focusing just on the Infinite Chief here, this one is painted just as expected, all green and looking mean. He comes with a very lovely painted Infinite Assault Rifle to match the game, and this one looks beautiful to me. I've seen a few people out there saying that this is the best Chief out of all of them, and it's highly detailed when looking at the paint job, but this extra detail only comes in the form of a black wash that is applied all over his armour. This wash, of course, does a great job at highlighting the depth of his armour, as it does make it stand out from the rest. However, plot twist, if I'm being completely honest here, the wash on this thing makes it the worst Chief, in my opinion, out of all of them. Yes, I said that. Sometimes companies do apply these washes just to quickly and cheaply add a level of detail. However, I don't think it really works here. It comes across all blotchy and messy in areas and distracts you from the piercing green of the rest of the armour. Though, as this is a highly detailed set, the assault rifle is given the right amount of love. Sporting multiple colours does make this one of the best assault rifles out there. But judging this as a full set, Infinite Chief's inclusion was completely necessary. Not including them here would have given a bad taste in people's mouths, so this one, absolutely necessary, we needed it. Next up we have Warthog Rally, which of course, gave us Master Chief. Now out from all of them, I think this is the most basic one that we've been given, with only the standard amount of additional work being applied to the 117 on his chest and it added details on his helmet and his shoulders. No other washes or dry brushes have been applied to his armour, this is a basic ass Chief. But you know, it really works. He comes with his assault rifle and there is no other weapon I would love to have seen in this set. Having Chief here is absolutely perfect. Chief, Warthog, Assault Rifle, that is the pinnacle of Halo to me. As I said, it's not the most detailed set, but as sets go, it's the most iconic. I wouldn't have had it any other way. Chief belongs in this set, no arguments, no arguments at all. And next up, we've got Pelican Inbound. Now this set comes with a bunch of different weapons, but I've got him here holding the shock rifle, well, because it's, a, it's on the cover art and I am an absolute slave to instructions. Now, this Chief comes with some silver dry brushing lightly applied to various parts of his armour, and to me, this one really works. It's the exact same paint job and mould all over as the other Halo Infinite Chiefs have, but this one is the perfect amount of dry brushing in my opinion. It's only applied to the high points and the corners of his armour, which dry brushing should be. My only issue, when this is with my one, as other people's could be completely different due to the nature of dry brushing, but it's really strong in some areas like the chest, but it's missing from his thighs, wrists and helmet, so it's not very consistent. As she's saying that, there's a little dab on the back of his helmet, and due to how little there is, I'm not sure if that is intentional or a complete mistake. But now, this is the largest infinite set that we've been given so far, and it makes sense to include Chief here, as this does depict the scene shown in the gameplay trailer last year. So it makes sense that Chief was included in this set with the pilot. So once again, perfect. Next up, we've got the Halo Infinite Conflict Pack, which comes with a Brute Warrior and M M Master Chief. Oh, Master Chief. It comes with Master Chief again. Wow. I wanted to put this one next to my list, as it's another one that has silver dry brushing on it. But unlike the Pelican set, the dry brushing on this one is just completely wrong. Sadly, I won't be opening up the pack to take a closer look, as sometimes I've got to treat myself and pretend that I'm a serious collector with sealed items. 
but you can see what I mean even through the packaging. Instead of the dry brushing being applied to highlight his armour, it's just slapped on all over and especially on the chest, which makes the green look really cheap. I wish this one was given the same care as a pelican chief, then this one possibly could have been higher on my list, but as it stands, I'm really not a fan. And to me, this set wasn't necessary at all. We didn't need to have Chief in this pack. Not long before this, we got this absolutely amazing conflict pack for Halo 3 or Halo 2, I think it was. Either way, it was Chief versus the Arbiter. And this one worked. Two enemies turned comrades, cashing it out in one pack with loads of weapons. But this set right here, Master Chief versus an enemy that you ran over two missions ago. I mean, this is just a generic brute. Who cares why he's fighting him? So that's why I don't get the verses here. He's versus lots of brutes. What's special about this one? Right, the best thing about this set is that the weapons are beautifully painted. It's far superior to any other chief weapons in my opinion. So if you're gonna get this set, ignore the chief, just go for the weapons. And honestly, the brute is really nice as well. And next up, we have the Fence Point Showdown Chief. Now, I really do love the one that is in the Pelican Inbound set, but this chief, has dirty boots and that is all and I absolutely love it because of the size of these things I can live without the washes and the dry brushing I'm really not expecting that much detail to be honest but the simple act of painting his boots to make them look dirty was a fantastic idea simply having these chiefs lined up next to each other the first one that stands out to me is this one and that's why I think it's amazing like the shock rifle he comes with is rather basic but as standard sets go, we don't really expect the weapons to be painted all that much. Sadly though, as much as I do love this one, I do think his inclusion in this set wasn't necessary at all. Master Chief didn't really need to be included here, as it's the second biggest infinite set that we had so far. It would have been nice to see some other character showing a little bit of love here, you know what I mean. But for me, it's really hard to pick my favourite Chief out of this one and a Pelican Inbound Chief. Like I said, I'm loving the dirt on his boots, but I'm also loving the perfectly applied silver on the other. So comment down below which one you think is best. It doesn't have to be just out of these two, out of the whole thing. But next we've got Master Chief from the Hero Series 13 line. The Heroes line are single carded figures, where you do pay a little bit more for just one figure, but the detail on them is normally bumped up, bringing you fully painted weapons and detailed figures. Surprisingly though, the Master Chief here is one of the more basic out of all of them. He is shown on the card art to have silver applied to his armor, but if you look closely, yeah, it is there, but it's only lightly applied on it. I just wonder why they even bothered. But then that could just be mine because of the nature, once again, of dry brushing is completely random. But to me, this hero chief should have been the perfect representation of all of them. And in my opinion, it's the most boring. And I know earlier I said I prefer less detail, but when detail is the setting point of your figure, you just expect a little bit more, do you know? But then last up, we have the active camo Master Chief from Series 1 Blind Bags. Out of all the Master Chiefs, this is the only one that I don't own. Or, do I own it, but I just can't find it? Because it's active cam- no, I, no, I don't own it, I don't own it. It's a stupid joke. But I don't own it just because Blind Bags aren't available in the UK, and I really don't care enough about them to pay extra price to get it shipped to me. That's just a no-no. But being an active camo, this one is of course the most unique out of all of them. Come in with a clear battle rifle and clear base. There of course really isn't too much for me to say about this one, as it shares the same mould as the rest of them, and paint job wise, but well, it's not really comparable is it? It has the expected Mega Constructs transparent effect to represent active camo. To me, I do really like this one, as it's completely different to the rest. Though active camo transparent figures aren't normally my favourite, but you need to give them a little bit of credit just to try and something different. But that's it, that is every single Master Chief released so far for Halo Infinite. But currently we're aware of two more Chiefs that are going to be released in the next month or so. The Wasp Onslaught Chief comes with an assault rifle and it looks like it's going to be exactly the same as we received in the Want Hog Rally set. Currently there is no release date but it is confirmed to be summer so any time now really. You can find this on Amazon.com, there's a link in the description. But it is currently showing us out of stock so just keep your eyes on the link for when pre-orders go live. Then we've got the Series 14 Chief, which is absolutely disappointing to see, as we've only just got Series 13 Chief. I've added a link in the description to where you can buy the entire of Wave 14 in one beautiful little bundle, which is going to be released on the 24th of July. 
This chief is exactly the same as all the other ones out there, but it comes with a mangler. The only noticeable difference is the paint job in this weird dotted pattern on his chest. I think this is them trying to be different with the way that they show the damage on his chest, which is of course very iconic, but I don't think that this is the best way to go around it. As much as I don't like black washes, I think that looks so much better than these dots. So yeah, in total we've got 7 chiefs so far, and 9 including the Wasp and Series 14 of Heroes. Honestly though, before I started this video I was under the impression that there were tons more. The number in my head was around 12 to 15, so I was a little bit surprised when I counted only 7. Maybe from all the talk in the community and all of us complaining about how many chiefs there were, I fooled myself into thinking that the number was so much higher. But going over them now, I'm okay with all of them. Like I said, we don't really need the inclusion of the conflict pack or the defense point showdown, but with them being here, yeah, I think it's fine. As collectors, it is so easy for us to look over all of these sets and to pick out the repeated characters like Chief, but when you take these sets to their basic level, they are kids' toys after all, and kids aren't going to be getting every single set. They'll only be getting one or even two, unless your parents really love you. So having more Chiefs out there means it's more likely for kids to be getting the main character of Halo. But with the direction that Halo Infinite seems to be going towards, Master Chief, on a ring, the UNSC is in disarray, maybe Chief is the only Spartan or main character left on the ring. Maybe Mega Constructs has no choice but to have him in nearly every set as they just don't want to keep reusing the multiplayer armours for their campaign sets. But then we can take a look at the Banished Chopper set. We've got the inclusion of Fred, and judging by the 104 on his chest, we can assume he's going to be an infinite if he's being betrayed with this sort of detail. But maybe because Halo Infinite got delayed by a year and the rules in place by 343, Mega Constructs had to remove other figures due to spoilers. So they had to replace them with a character that we already knew, Master Chief. Now that makes so much sense to me, but your guess here is really as good as mine. But that's it. That's all of the Master Chiefs currently released in Halo Infinite line from Mega Constructs. And honestly, it's really not as bad as I thought. Like I said, my mind tricked me into thinking there was so, so much more. But in reality, there's only seven, and seven is absolutely fine. Personally, I'm so thankful we got more Chiefs than him being replaced with Marines. But sure, multiple Marines means that it's good for army building. But I honestly get bored of seeing Marines over Chief. But let me know in the comments down below. Do you have all seven of these Chiefs? Which one is your favourite? And do you think that we have too many? Remembering that we're going to have a total of nine in just a few months and possibly many, many more. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more weekly Halo Gear videos. Peace out, brothers.